Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me solving JEE Advanced questions. And today I have a JEE Advanced 2022 question 18 of paper 2. Well, let's get into the question. This question says that for all, for positive integers n, define, we define, that f of n is equal to this blob. Well, if we exclude the n at the first term, well, these terms, they look like sum, right? And it lets us to find the limit as n goes to infinity of this function. This being said, if you recall in one of my previous videos, then you will know that I have done a few videos on this formula, which it transforms these types of sums into an integral. So if we can make it into that formula, then we can just create this big thing into a simple integral. And that's what I'm going to try. Well, to make a sum, we need a pattern, right? But this doesn't seem like there are patterns. Well, why don't we do the denominator first? Because hint, it's easier. Okay, for the denominator, I'm just going to list out all of the terms in a column. And all the way to this last term, which I'm going to write as 4n squared plus 3n squared. Well, one thing that we're guaranteed of is that the last term of this pattern is always 3n squared, right? Well, then what about the, well, then what about the first term? Well, we see that if we exclude this last term, they're all multiples of 4, right? So if we ignored this, then the pattern would simply be 4kn plus 3n squared. But if we add this in, look, it's still the same. Because if k goes from 1 to n, then if k is equal to n, then it becomes 4n squared. Nice. So the numerator, the, so the denominator pattern should be this, and I'm just going to write bracket k goes from 1 all the way to n. So I'm just going to rub all of this out. And when I rewrite this pattern, I won't write this part. I just hope that you can remember this. So now we can try to do the numerator. I'm going to list them out in the column as well. And all the way to, I'm going to change this 7n squared again into negative 4n squared minus 3n squared. Okay, look, another thing we're guaranteed about. This last term is always 3n squared again. Now let's focus on in the middle term. Well, first thing that we notice is that they all differ by 4n. Okay. Well, what if the pattern was 5n minus 4kn? Excluding the other terms just for the middle term, what if it was 5n minus 4kn? Well, this is possible if k goes from 0 to n. But for this one, it goes from 1 to n. And if they're going from different ranges, then we can't really change that into a single sum. So this is actually not the way to go. The correct way to go is we have to think where 5n comes from. We just add 4n to it, we get 9n. So the middle term pattern can be 9n minus 4kn. 
And now k can start from 1. And now we can go to the first term. We see that they're all multiples of 16, right? So it should be 16k. Well, even though that might seem wrong, why don't we just test it out? So the first term is 16k. The second term will be 9n minus 4kn. And the last term will be minus 3n squared. But then, this covers basically all of them, except for this, who well, I'm going to prove you wrong. Because if k goes from 1 to n, if we plug in n, then these first two terms make up 25n. So, this pattern is actually correct. So, this is our numerator pattern. So now, we can change this into a sum. So if we rewrite f of n, is equal to n plus the sum. Of course, it's when k goes from 1 to n. Of the numerator of the denominator. Over 4kn plus 3n squared. And I'm going to do some manipulation to this sum, so then it becomes n plus sum when k is equal to 1 to n of, I'm going to factor out a negative 1 from here. Now we can do partial fractions. We can separate like this and like this. And the minus, this term is just one. And now I can split this into two sums. So the first sum will be this, and the second sum will be this. Well, the sum when k is equal to one to n of one, is n. So then this and that will actually cancel out. So all we have left is just the sum when k is equal to 1 to n of this. Right? We know that formula. We The first thing we needed was the 1 over n. But we don't have it, right? But we can easily just make it. And I'm, I'm going to take the 1 over n out because the subject is k and 1 over n does not have any k's. So it is equal to 1 over n times the sum from when k is equal to 1 all the way to n of if we divide it in n, then we need to multiply in n on the top, right? And the bottom will stay the same. Well, now we need a k over n. That's easy, just divide it in n squared. So the top will be 16 times k over n plus 9, and the bottom will be 4 times k over n plus 3. So from this, and if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of this, then we know that the limit as n goes to infinity of this
and we can change it into an integral now. So this is actually equal to the integral from zero to one of, we just change these k over n's into x or any variable that you would like. And if we notice this, if we multiply the denominator by 4, then it will become 16x plus 12. But here we have a 9. That's easy. We can just, we can make a 4, but then we have to make sure we subtract the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 over 4x plus 3. So that being said, this is equal to integral from 0 to 1 of 4 dx. And then we'll subtract it with the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 over 4x plus 3 dx. And this is equal to, if, we, if you do this on your own, then this will be 4. And then minus this will obviously be, be long. And you can also do this on your own and figure out that it will be 3 over 4. Oh, don't forget the plugging in times the ln of 4x plus 3. And of course, we have to go from 0 to 1. Well, I have to rub everything out now, I'm afraid. So this is equal to 4 minus. If we plug in 1, then it will be 3 over 4 ln of 7. And then minus, if we plug in 0, then we'll get 3 over 4 ln of 3. And we can factor out a 4 over 3. So it's 4 minus 4 over 3 ln of 7 over 3. Well, this technically isn't the final answer because this question has choices. So the formal answer will not be this. It will actually be B. So B is the final answer of this JEE Advanced 2022 Question 18 of Paper 2. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my JEE Advanced videos, then please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.